When you open a website like google.com, your computer will be called client. It will send a request to Google server. Google server will analyze your request and prepare a response that holds resources to your request. Then your web browser will show the response. Always we heard the term of server. So what's server? Server is a computer that provides resources to other computers over a network. So what are the resources? We have a plenty type of resources like web pages, stylus, scripts, data, and files. Each server has a numerical or string identifier known as IP address. IP address has two versions, version 4 like this example and version 6 like this example. It is hard to memorize all these numbers and strings. To solve this problem, domain name will come to the play, which is a string identifier like google.com, linux.org, and any other domain that are available. In order to assign a domain to a server, we need something called DNS server. It means the domain through DNS server will be pointed to the server. Now we understand what's server. When you type a web address in a web browser, it's called URL. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Each URL has three different sections. Protocol like HTTP, FTP, or SMTP. Host is the domain name, and file path is the resource that we ask from the server. Now we should know web addresses use HTTP protocol. Let us go back to the first model. When you open a website, it will send HTTP request to the server. Then the server sends HTTP response. So what is HTTP exactly? HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. To communicate with the server, HTTP uses plain text. Plain text is not a good option for sending data. So we have HTTPS, means HTTPS will encrypt the data before send it to the server. Both HTTP request and response have a message. This is a simplified example of HTTP request message. The message contains request type, HTTP version, the host, and other parameters. There are four main request types. Get for retrieving data, post for sending data, delete for deleting, put or patch for updating. We know servers send back a response message. This is a simplified example of the response message. The message contains HTTP status code, for example, 200 means successful, date, content type, and HTML data. After that, the browser will show the HTML data to the page. Most of the pages need small resources. It means they will send more other requests to load the stylus, scripts, and images. 